Start with Poulter recalled. What's the plan for him? Poulter to back up tonight. And then just looking at this group, we heard a lot about execution needs to be sharper today. What's another focus against the Islanders? Well, anytime you play the Islanders, they're a veteran team. Uh, you know, they're on top of you. They got a big, big group, big group of defensemen. Uh, you know, our overall game, our 200 foot game is going to have to be a lot better than it was last night. Uh, it should be an exciting game. Hopefully we, uh, you know, we, we're going to need to play a lot, a lot better than we did last night. But uh, the best thing about today, when you play uh, the way you did last night, is that we get to come back and play again today. Jack Hughes' next game is his 300th game. What has he brought? We all hear about the elite playmaking and the goals, but what have you seen about Jack that maybe isn't noticed as much? He cares. Uh, he cares about winning. Uh, is he still a young guy in the league? It's hard to believe that he's played uh, 300 games. Uh, he's an elite talent in the league. Uh, he's going to be a player and a dominant player in the league for a long time, and uh, New Jersey's lucky to have him. Who does uh, Poulter back up today? Capo. And is this just to give Jake a, a break and not even have to worry about preparing for a game? Is that why Isaac is back? No, we just want to make sure that he's 100% healthy going down the stretch. Carlos, when you look at sort of the way you guys were playing defensively yesterday, what are some of the things that you hope are sort of corrected in this game? I wasn't really worried about how we played defensively. We actually, defensively, we were all right last night. I don't think we gave up a lot. Uh, it's what we, we did with the puck that really stalled our game. We barely had a four check. Uh, when you don't have a four check, you've either not managed the puck in the neutral zone or not executed enough passes to get a good four check. Our breakouts weren't crisp enough. Uh, we just didn't play good enough with the puck to to play in the other zone. Uh, we, we didn't have enough ozone time. We didn't have enough pressure on their goal, and overall, our game wasn't near good enough to win. Why, why could that? Why does that happen to a team sometimes? Though? Inconsistent. It's it's, yeah. it's uh, again I, when you got a young group and we've got a lot of young D, uh, you're going to have nights that. Uh, you know, you're not going to play your best. And being an everyday player uh, in the league is key to being an everyday team. And uh, if we want to win long term, we got to be everyday players in the league. From your perspective, what did you see in just the emotion from your players after such a disappointing performance last night? Well, no, they're upset to lose. When you play in the NHL, you're proud. Uh, they're an upset group. But my philosophy as a coach is being very open and honest when you play well, open and honest when you don't play well and why you didn't, and uh, that'll be part of our pregame meeting today. Trev, sometimes it's hard to figure out what kind of lines you're going to have chemistry. Why do you think that the Palat, Nosek, Mercer line has, has worked here the last few years? Uh, you never know. I mean, when you put lines together, for me, it was having a, a, a line that you trusted putting on the ice. I think that's important for a coach to have a line. You know, if you can have a third and fourth line that you trust to, to play against anyone, uh, you know, that goes into putting the line together. Uh, obviously, uh, Pally's won before. He's won a Stanley Cup. He's a great two-way player. He understands the little details that go into winning, and uh, and that's part of being an everyday player that I talk about. I know back-to-back -back can be very tough, but if there's ever a good time for back-to-back, -back, is today a good time for us? That's back-to-back -back is part of life in the NHL. That's part of being an everyday team. Can you look at all to what Florida did last year as a motivator for your group right now in these final 11 games? No, I'm not looking at what Florida did last year. I'm looking at uh, our team getting ready to play today and play better than we did yesterday, to be honest. Thank you. Thank you.